Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared, come on. I did call you, but it was like, don't wear a white shirt. <laughs> white shirt? No. Jared, All right, here's a question I've always wanted to ask you in front of a large studio audience. Oh. <laughs> Which season was your favorite Sam hairstyle? <laughs> Coordinator, 
Lou Bolo, and I go, hey, um, give me a cup. <laughs> and Lou gave me a cup, and I took a knee to the groin. It wasn't supposed to. But Hansel was very tall, and it was very, it was very like, it was kind of close quarters ish. He was supposed to, I think, punch, knee, and he was supposed to do a punch, punch, knee, and then and they called action. He got nervous, and he just did a knee. <laughs> so, and the punch, I was expecting to go backwards, so I was busting my head. So, <laughs> backwards, backwards. Kind of 
contrary to see these guys like have a grenade launcher in their trunk. <laughs> 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 Singers by day, hunters by night. Thank you, thank you. Stick around on my brother Sam's following this act. Yeah, uh, we, we, I think we, uh, we got away, we got through that episode of Escape, so it was nice that they uh, hired people to pretend to be us to sing in the musical episode of Supernatural and didn't, uh, took the burden off our shoulders. I still had a funny, I was watching, did anybody see the Saved by the Bell movie? Yeah. So I was watching it. And what? <laughs> <laughs> I love Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> it occurred to me that at one point in time, it was two different, two different human beings who had both played Dean were having a scene together because the girl who played Tiffany Amadeusen was here during the episode, and um, obviously. Zach Morris was Dean. So it was two Deans, like having, when, when Zach Morris was talking, or when Mark Paul Gosser was talking to Dean Medici and their characters. Cut me. I want to see you so bad. I want to hide. Where's the trap door? <laughs> Come out the other side. David Copperfield. I have a question for you. Yes. Bring it. You a Kelly Kapowski guy or a Jesse Sano guy? <laughs> or a Mrs. Turtle guy? That's a good question. I was. I, I'm an AC Slayer guy. Okay. <laughs>
turn fast and stop telling me what to do. <laughs> it worked. I love the delay. It's uh, the little things that excite And this is why they still call us the boys. <laughs> True. Um, Yeah, but it's, it, it, you know, there's, there's constantly things like putting a pen on his seat and hoping he doesn't see it and sits down and, and bleeds. Um, you know, there's, uh, the, the, yeah, there's, there's constantly stuff. Even, um, what was it? I changed some dots some dialogue. On me? On you. Oh, yeah, you did. And you, you couldn't. You couldn't hold it together. Yeah. So like that's, you know, the like camera's on him, and I've got to say something, and I just say something completely outrageous, and see, and see, see if he can hold it together, and he... he... I just did to you also, I forgot it was. There were a couple things that happened that I was like, man, I hope they print that. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll oh, work. it was the, the, the smoothie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, so we're in, we're in the car doing a scene, and he's supposed to grab a smoothie. And I'm like, dude, what is that? And, and he just goes. <laughs> and, and every time do it, do it. So I get the smoothie out, and I was like. Oh. <laughs> and, We wanted to film it, so I think it's making it to Gabriel. But we couldn't do it without laughing, because I really was like, like slurping the smoothie and like spitting it out because I was laughing. We were trying to, what are we trying to make it to? Three, like triple take or something like that? It was pretty funny. Oh yeah, I could, it was one, two, and then we'd lose it. And then we're like, oh, 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 we got this, we got this. Meanwhile, everybody outside, like oh, the grips are still running with the lights, and they're, they're like, what's this part of the scene? I don't know. It's just, just keep going, keep going. They're still like, and we're just in the car, jacking around. <laughs> Cameras are rolling. And we're like, let's see if we can make it three takes. <laughs> uh, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun like that on set. Uh, but certainly there will be some pranks um, for Mr. Spade. Thank you. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. hey, Richard, how you doing? Oh, oh, hey. I didn't, I didn't see you. How long have you been there? Stay, stay you, here. You said pranks, right? Like hot dogs? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like your son. Like a welcome to the show. Right, Franks. right. Yeah, all beef hot dogs. Franks. Jared asked uh, Richard before he went on if he had There'll be a, lot of hot a good dogs. life insurance policy. <laughs> but he was dead serious. And this is after me just debacle. And I'm like, Jared, man, he really cares about it. You know, he goes, I've got family. He's like, hey, man. Or maybe he sells something on the side. I don't yeah, know. Like, like, hey, like, way. When he's like, hey, I'm always sells it on the side. Yeah. <laughs> You know, just to, you know, fill the like, hey, I get it. Have a good life insurance policy? And I came in like, oh, I'd love to know about a good, maybe I can get a better rate. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, uh, yeah, I do, why? And he's like, I mean, you come to the direct and we're going to do, I did, you know, it's not even worried, let's not even go there. That's just, just be sure you pay your premium. And, you know. I'm like, okay. Pay your life insurance <laughs> premium before you come up to the direct. <laughs> what are you really sure as the MC? Are you nervous? Are you uncomfortable? No. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird mix. You're nervous, but not uncomfortable. She said yes, and no. Just describe Rob's high school experience, by the way. <laughs> Good, as long as you're uncomfortable, my work here is done. Gentlemen? <laughs> well, I was just wondering if, can you show us it on the show anymore? How would that affect you guys? Oh. Greatest day ever? Yeah. <laughs> Win-win. <laughs> he, he, I don't, luckily, I don't think there will ever be a day Supernatural goes on without me to call it. <laughs> All right, calm down. That, that having been said, he doesn't do every single episode. So, the joyous occasions when we don't have to film with him are just that, <laughs> joyous occasions. Uh, and with him on the show, it gives us more time away from the show. Yeah. <laughs> like for example, so episode eight. eight. The next episode that he does. I'm just throwing it out there. In all honesty, I hope y'all know we love Misha. We just razz him because we know what I'm doing. 
sorry, what did you say? I said you're my favorite. That's what I thought. <laughs> Comedy elbows. Alright, and that was the last question. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, we need a Jared favorite, so. Just a... No, we're good. And that was the last question. The last question. I think it's a great idea. I just love to have him come out and join me. You're gonna I think you're gonna like him. He's a, he's a likable guy. Uh J Dog, will you get out of here for a second?
Mr. Jensen Ackles. Jensen Ackles, everybody. Oh, it turns out you did know him. Anybody uh, make the concert last <laughs> Did anybody not make the concert and is regretting it? <laughs> well, I still love y'all. He's mad at <laughs> some, some of you that post videos. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take videos. Anybody want to? <laughs> I'll have to have you uh, redo it. <laughs> they can help you write them. Uh, yeah, you know, that's, I, I will say that it was, uh, it, that is, I kind of blacked out. I'm not quite sure what happened up here last night. Um, I, I do know that I walked backstage afterwards and went like, what just happened? That was quite an adrenaline rush. Uh, and I was actually talking to somebody, I'm like, now I get why that is. The number one job I think of, uh, in the world is to be a rock star. Uh, That's how people do it until they're like seventy. What's Mick Jagger? Ninety three? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not like he can't retire. <laughs> uh, it's hard up. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah. But uh, you know, I've, I've been asked that question. You know, to, to do music, and again, I, I say I'm, I, you know, I'm not a musician. I just like music, and if I can surround myself with musically talented people, and they just is a lot of fun for me. Um, I, I'll, I won't say that I, that'll never happen, but I don't know if, if it'll happen. Say that really <laughs> um, but, uh, love yeah. And the irony of that episode is the only person who actually got scared during the film that episode was me. We got like, the snake come out. It was a big snake. And the guy, and I was like, man, the guy is laying on his back behind the couch with this mat with 15 or something like that. Hundreds of pounds. It was, uh, I think it was, it was like a hundred and eighty pounds. A hundred and eighty pounds. He's like, like push that snake over. And I'm like, he's gonna miss that snake over. That's next thing. I'm out of here. Well, the snake, the, the snake didn't want it. It, it. it wasn't going. And so this snake regular, true uh, job, real job, <laughs> was like, hunting. <laughs> like, yeah, that's good. Anchor it up and then send it over here. I'm not kidding, the snake was like not wanting to crawl over the couch. It wanted to just go down to the floor and he kept like pushing it, yeah. shoving it. <laughs> I look over the couch and this guy is like, I mean, it was, yeah, it was like wrestling a snake, just trying to get it to come over to me. And, uh, and so I just remember that, that, that one point when the snake finally did decide to come over my shoulder, I looked, and it looked, it was, the head's bigger than my fist. Oh, yeah. oh, it's it's just, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's just good. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jared's like six feet away at the, the, the other end of the couch, and he just goes, yeah. It's on me, and he's the one running out of the room. 
I'm gonna die for a shot I'm not even in. I'm gonna die to on camera. I think. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good uh, option. I... Stop my answer. Um, I really like the Southern Oregon Coast, the Oregon Coast. Yes! Uh, <laughs> I think you got the Redwoods and uh, yes. the rest of that. We used to, we used to drive up and back down every year uh, for, uh, for the season. We'd drive up uh, in you know, the beginning of July, uh, and then we'd drive down mid-April when the season would end. And a few times, uh, a few times we actually drove our own cars, but we went together, like caravan down there. It was a convoy, I'm not gonna lie. Remember the wall? And we had a lot of And purely just for the novelty of walkie talkies, we had cell phones at the time. I had cell phones on my head, but I hear, what's your 20? I'm still like right behind you. We well, we were, we were, you know, we were driving by ourselves, so it was just, instead of, you know, instead of having to have the cell phone on and rack up the minutes, we literally just say, well, we're talking, so just keep, keep each other coming. We're like, hey, you hungry yet? You want to pull over? No, I'm good. All right, let's go for the two miles. You want to pull over? Over. Uh, I'm good. Over. <laughs> What'd you do with it? Sound? <laughs> now you're not doing it. Sound and already does that. Echo Fox Rock? Niner? But a couple of times, uh, I don't, know if, I don't know if we did it, uh, yeah, I know I did once or twice when I was driving up down, I did that, uh, I hooked it over to the coast oh, yeah. and drove that southern Oregon to the California coast, and it's incredible. Um, so, I don't know, I know that that one's good. I wouldn't want to do that again. That's right, I got my coffee, I'm good to go. And especially for Jared, but um, I wouldn't mind your input too, Jensen. Um, recently you posted a picture of uh, you wearing Sam's tattoo. So, um, are we going? To, are we going to get to see that in an episode? Are we going to get to see Sam get it? Or are we going to find no, out why it's, now? Uh, it, it, it was a mega tattoo. Oh yeah. Did you take the shirt with salt as again. right before we stole your jet ski. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, it was for an episode, and uh, I don't think I'll be giving it away by saying uh, it's not her, it's not current Sam Vassal, Sam. It's oh. it's a flashback of okay. sorts. Then I have, can I ask one more question? Because Yes. Why? Don't get me fired. Why has Sam not gotten retattooed? Because he's messing around with strange demons without protection, and that's dangerous for Sam. Yeah, I mean, I mean Sam kind of <laughs> Sorry, uh, plug your ears for a bit. Because you're Sam Winchester, not Sam Lewis Chester. <laughs> that was my favorite. I got giddy, I was like, <laughs> No, not at all. Uh, they just know that I work with Uncle Jensen and Uncle Krivy. Uh, but I don't, I mean, they know they can see me on the screen, but I don't think they realize. Um, like, my niece, Juliet, who's born in 08, so she's seven years old. Uh, she was in my first grade, she was six years old, and I guess one of the teachers was like, how do I mean? Like, Jared, how do I mean? She goes, yeah, that's my uncle. And like, it finally occurred to her that I was on TV. I know uh, every now and again, Exhausted, pull hand like an iPad over to one of the kids. You know, like, here, watch Dinosaur Train, or, like, watch, you know, Pig or whatever, it's Wild Crass. Uh, I'm like plugging all these shows. <laughs> I have no financial affiliation with any of those. And I guess if, if you watch YouTube, there's a screen where you can push things. And I guess there was a picture of me, and so he pushed it, and there was a scene like where Sam was getting beat up by somebody. Oh. I know. And I, it took, it, I wasn't there, but it took Jen a second to understand what was going on, and she looked over and he looked over and she said, what are you watching? And she grabbed it, and I was like, buddy. And, oh. and he goes, the man hurt daddy. <laughs> and so I'm on set, like, and I film it, and I get back to my phone, and I have like six mix, mix, text messages, like, you can, hey, call me, FaceTime me as soon as you can. You I was like, oh my God, what's going on? And so she just wanted me to like talk to Tom, like, let's just pretend, buddy, look, I'm all behind, I think I'm Oh, and then also FaceTiming, so Sam, it's, 
injured a little bit at the beginning of the season. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, and so I was FaceTiming because I, you know, I'd be at work before the kids woke up, and I'd get home after I went to bed, so I FaceTime with them. But I can't like wash my makeup off to FaceTime, get the makeup off to film. And so I had to keep on explaining, like, hey, kid, look, it's just, it's just not real, it's fake. Uh, it's really cute, but they, they mine certainly don't have Jake. No, she's, yeah, she, she, she doesn't, she'll see me, like if there was a commercial or show apps to be on TV, you know, flipping channels. Um, yes. Danielle said the other day, I happened to pop up, it was a commercial, and she just goes, oh, hey, there's Danny. <laughs> and, then she, and then she just goes right back to the room. <laughs> So, yeah, My kids want me to like, turn it off and put Isaac back on. Oh, there's Daddy. Put Isaac back on. Yeah. There's Daddy. There's Daddy. Can we watch planes? Um, I, I was very fortunate to uh, have, uh, have found some really quality friends uh, in California when I moved there at, at 18. Um, I also I also imported a couple. Um, so I, I had uh, a very close friend of mine. Still to this day, uh, his name's Ty, and uh, he and I were actually going to go to college. We had both got accepted to the same college. We had gone out there for orientation. We had our student ID cards. We were already like talking to uh, uh, like fraternity presidents and stuff. And we had our classes set. We had our dorm assignment, and he and I were roommates. And literally, like a few weeks before I was supposed to ship out to college, I was like, "No, I'm going to LA." And so poor Ty is sitting there going like, uh, Ruby, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, I don't want to go out there by myself. So he actually didn't go to college, and he stayed. Oh, his fault. This um, growing education is one of its He is very successful. He did. He is his beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters. But uh, but he he was like, well, I don't want to. I don't want to go out there by myself and not know anybody. I'm going to stay here, just go to the local community college for the first semester and figure it out. So I go out to LA. I book uh, a job and I start working pretty quickly. This is no, no, no. This is before that. This is before that. We'll get there. Um, uh, and, uh, and so about. So I get there for a few months after after being there. I got pretty homesick. I got really really homesick, and I I convinced the guy to come out to LA. And I'm like, I'm working on a show. I get you a job in production, no problem. Not realizing how difficult it would be. Thankfully, they did. He did get a job. He, he was like the production coordinator for the Rosie O'Donnell show <laughs> at like 19. All right, this guy, he's, he's, a, he's a sharp guy. He's, he's sharp. He also looks young. Like, he probably looks 19 yeah. right now. Yeah. But, uh, so anyway, so I imported him, and and then and then he and I, and then, you know, then I had a, a running mate kind of thing, and, and then we, we just, we got a really good group of, of, of guys. Oddly enough, they were all Southern. They're like Arkansas, Oklahoma, another Texas guy. So I found kindred spirits out there, and, uh, and I think that's what really kind of helped me uh, steer clear of any, you know, wrong paths. Um, and I still, I, you know, I talk to my parents and, and family every day almost, so. And I, uh, I it's sort of similar. I, I found a lot of big people. If I had two or three friends in LA that allowed me to be who I was, which is, I think, the most important thing about friendship, is being able to be who you are and them being who they are. Uh, and then, honestly, I just kept moving my feet. I just kept busy. I got homesick often, but I, Road trip, just get my car and drive to that same time. But yeah, I just kept, it's almost like, you know, keep fighting until you figure out what you're fighting for. I just kept working, I just kept moving my feet. Yeah, just just, yeah there, I, there was no down, there was not a downtime. No. I don't think for either the longest, since I was 18 years old, was the longest that I went without having the promise of any job. And that was too long for me.